Hi, everyone. This is another episode of Liquidity Provider Insights with Zaki Mania and Tarek Lewis. Glad to have you here. It's been a week, nearly a week, since Uniswap launched last week on Wednesday. And it's now Monday of a new week. And Zaki, good to have you with us again. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's been an exciting All right. week. So you are you are possibly maybe our you, you maybe one of the few people in the world who you know been using Uniswap actively daily since launch, maybe even hourly. A lot has changed. What do you want our like? What should our liquidity providers be thinking? What have you seen? What do you want us to take a look at so today, Monday? I would say that you know what we are experiencing is um, what you might call uh, uh, some of the more ch most challenging. You know, Uniswap is V3 is launching in an environment that's like a very challenging uh, environment for people to be learning how to use Uniswap uh, V3. Uh, and so on one hand, it's like uh, uh, we are, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's you're, you're going to it's it's a confusing time. On the other hand, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to learn like what this new thing um, has to offer. Um, and so you know as we kind of like um you can bring up the screen share yeah and if you want to yeah. just drop our faces yeah Cicely, you can drop our faces mm -hmm. yeah there you go cool so what do we got here so last week if you've watched our our previous two episodes we we opened up uh two uh uh two uh 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 uh, uh liquidity positions on uniswap v3 um mm -hmm. Our, our die position, as you can see right here, is in range, which means it's earning, okay? Right. Um, it has earned 73 cents, uh, mm -hmm. so not, not exactly big money, um, but it's trucking along uh, in this uh, super bullish market. And then, yes, last time we see this out of range indicator. This, is a, this means our position is currently not uh, intersected with the spot price and traders are not paying for this liquidity. And I think this is a great position for us to sort of look through and talk through. So this was our, you know, our mega bullish position, right? We were going to do $4,000 ETH uh, and the current price is $4,129. Um, right. Okay. So we earned before the, uh, before yesterday's bull, uh, last night's bull market, we'd earned $29 in fees. Um, mm -hmm which is not as much as we paid in gas to create this position, unfortunately. Um, and we're, we're sitting here. So let's just like, let's understand like what this means, what you could do, how to think about it. Um, and so I guess the, the, the first thing I want to do um, is let's just quickly go over to um, the uh, USDC ETH uh, chart. Um, and the most, the interesting tab for a liquidity provider is to look at this liquidity uh, distribution chart. Um, and this has become, uh, uh, I don't know if they fixed something or, uh, but we've got, uh, it's become, I think it's, it's a lot easier to see how to read this right now. Um, so you see this ETH price number right here um, uh, in, the, uh, on, on, in the tick stats, okay? Yep. And so yep. you can see, um, um, you can see the, um, you can see now, okay. So this is, this is, this red line is where the spot price is right. pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So what, what are the things that I can immediately take away from this? One is there's a lot of liquidity still hanging around, uh, mm -hmm. around 3,500, um, yep. where our NFLP position is, uh, where our, our, our position is a lot of other people. A lot of liquidity has not migrated uh, to the new spot price. To the new uh, spot price. Hey, Zucky, could you maximize your browser window so we can see it all? I think we're also trying yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, that true. might help. How's this? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Dimmed in a little bit, too. Okay. okay. Oh, this is much easier to read now. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see a lot. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So what what are we seeing? So again, right here, spot price. 
we see a lot of liquidity is hanging around the uh, uh, the sort of trading range of the last week has, has not followed the spot price up. Um, and there's um, there's a lot of liquidity all the way over here at uh, all the way out to um, uh, seven thousand dollar ETH before it drops. Yeah. Got it. Um, so what is a what what is a um, what is a liquidity provider to do with uh, with the current situation? You know, they were they were sitting here earning money uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, it's going to be real interesting to see this how this chart evolves over the next couple of days, right? Right. How many right. people are going to? How much of this liquidity here? You would ex right. you would expect this little spike here to sort of disappear over the course of the next couple of days um, as people right. reallocate their liquidity. And a quick question for you, just to make sure we understand how Uniswap works, that liquidity providers should know, is that once the once uh, prices moved out of range from the thirty five hundred to the four thousand, they now only have one token. So you only have one side of the token, right? Like your liquidity is not made up of the pair USDC ETH. Yeah. Your you liquidity is not made up you of. Look here. There you go. We That's just right. have fifteen hundred USDC. We don't have any ETH. So yeah. if we want to move into the spot price, we need to buy ETH. Got it. And is that how Uniswap V3 solves in permanent loss? We had a, a user in our community ask this question over the weekend. You know, um, you know, how is impermanent loss solved with Uniswap V3? And I'm just curious whether it's your thought that moving users, once they've come out of the range into the one side, essentially ends their risk for impermanent loss, even though now they may only have US, you know, that USDC holding. Yeah, I mean, it sort of is a, you know, impermanent loss is not eliminated by really any solution. It is moved, mm -hmm. mitigated, traded, limited, all of these things. Um, right. And so basically you, we, we, we knew that we were going to essentially sell all our ETH. We were going to be completely out of our ETH um, by the time if ETH costs 4,000. Um, uh, and at this point, we hold entirely USDC. Um, and if we want to regain exposure to ETH, um, and the I, the idea would have been, you know, you could have gone on another DeFi protocol and gotten long exposure to ETH, um, right? If, if you wanted to uh, mitigate this uh, uh, this right. loss, and the idea yeah. in capital efficiency, et cetera, is that you know you could be you can be doing both. Um, and and if I needed to move from US to buy more ETH, that's gonna I'm, that's going to cost me, so I have to go back to my. Uh, yeah. So, right. like, if we so you know, what are what are the things that can happen? How can this position change over time? One is, yeah, you know, uh, uh, the spot price could move back down. Uh, right. If spot price moves back down, um, will essentially be will you know it will be sold into the pool. Um, right. And uh, you'll be getting your uh, uh, and we'll start earning fees again. Mm-hmm. Oh, so my, my position will convert back into USD and ETH if the spot yeah. price moves down. If the spot okay. price moves down. Um, okay. We can open up a new NFLP position. We could open up a new bullish position. Um, mm -hmm. And then we could move the liquidity um, uh, from here to there. OK. What's your thoughts so far on the volumes and the activity that's yeah let's 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 so look far. through this tab right yeah um, yeah yeah just we just had landed there tvl uh has leveled off a little bit um okay for the moment why do you think that is so you know we don't expect i mean like sort of your your expectation of um in uniswap b3 because of the capital efficiency is you are not expecting TVL uh, to rise. And what we don't have really as an industry right now is a standard metric of sort of slippage or price quality um, mm. that sort of is appropriate for this like new era of concentrated liquidity automated market makers. Um, and so instead we're, we're sort of left with these two, with this, with these volume and TVL metrics, 
where we, ex, you know, this pattern we're seeing where volume and TVL are very closely paired together probably will persist um, as Uniswap matures. Um, and, you know, the the lower volume on the weekend is not, I think, a huge right. surprise. Got it. But yeah, I mean, I think to a large extent, you know, I think I th I think the biggest outstanding question on Uniswap V3 is what's going to happen here. Um, are people, you know, I would say that like, you know, my workflow here would probably be uh, if I was going to open up a, a more bullish position, I would open up a, no, a more bullish position with a smaller amount of funds uh, and then think about migrating liquidity into it and make, you know, the, the thing to remember is regardless of what you do, this position doesn't go away. Uh, you can remove liquidity, add liquidity. You're not burning the position. Um, the position is, the amount of liquidity in the position is dynamic over time. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, but, but for this position, although it's out of range, I can add liquidity to it. I can remove liquidity from it. So I can remove my USDC yep. from this and then come back at a later date if it moves into range and move liquidity back into this. So this is, this is great. So uh, I, I can have like an infinite number of ranges, really. Um, yeah. And this, this yep. screen is going to get super confusing real fast. Because you're going to get a lot, you're going to have a lot of rows if you're doing a lot yeah. of activity. Great. So um, you have something coming up for liquidity providers on Wednesday. What's that? So I think one of the things that we have, we've really seen is how much of a struggle setting your range is for a liquidity provider, especially when they're sort of opening up their first position. Um, mm -hmm. And we have some tools that are coming from Sommelier um, to make it a lot easier to select a range. Um, right. Now, and and we'll see. It's all, it's all about... Uh, a sort of simplifying the workflow for setting ranges, um, uh, especially as you sort of uh, are experimenting with opening up more of these positions. Got it. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and I think that's going to event's going to be on Wednesday uh, at 10 a.m. and we'll have we we'll have a recording for it. We we'll look forward to seeing uh, what Sommelier has to help liquidity providers. Great on Uniswap V3. Thanks, Carl. Right. Thank you, Zucky. Look forward to seeing you again. Cheers.